wakurugenzi around the 1940s wakati wa Jerumani waliamua tu kukua vichwa ngumu wakaamua kuleta vita ya dunia mzima World War II watu wengi walichoka nao waliona hao watu sasa wanaharibu mara kuna certain community ya mpendi mnawafanya mbaya nini nini so watu wakaanza kule embargoes biashara zifanyiki na countries zingine so nyinyi kama wajerumani jitegemeeni among the countries ambao walirusha mkono wakasema hatufanyi biashara na wajerumani ilikuwa united states united states walikuwa wanasafirisha wana export product moja kutoka us mpaka germany na hii product ni soda aina ya coca cola wakati coca cola ilifunga mambo wakasema sisi tumechoka hatuingii ujerumani tena na wale wa jerumani wako na kiu ya soda ikabidi waingie kwa malab zao waite watu hao wa food science nutritionists you name it waende wajaribu kutafuta concoction ambayo inaweza angalau leta the same feeling ambayo walikuwa wanaipata kwa coca cola wale ma scientists wakaingia pale kwenye lab wakafanya mambo yao wakafanya mambo yao and voila wakatoka na concoction fulani hivi ya rangi ya machungwa na wakasema kabisa hata wakitunyima hiyo nyeusi tuko na yetu ya orange tutaita nini wakasema this is more like a, an imagination sababu hakuna mtu alikuwa na hii recipe we imagined everything and we've come up with awesomeness so imagination kwa kijerumani ni fantasy fantasy then they broke that word into two and called the drink fanta destiny hasa <laughs> kipindi kofi ya huyo mwanzangu pale ambaye ajaniambia jina hapo sawa jo kama kawa, kama dawa if you see mkurugenzi in the building you just know i got the juice boo boo mm. oh nice leo story ambayo nataka kupiga ni story ambayo ilitingiza vichwa vya habari mnamo mwaka wa 2007 2007 may 5 wa Kenya watabaka mbalimbali waliamka asubuhi wakapata ripoti za kuogofya ripoti zilikuwa zinaenea zilikuwa zinasema kwamba ndege ya Kenya Airways flight 507 from Douala Cameroon has gone missing Taka tukule pause hapo kidogo tuangalie matukio yaliyojiri usiku eh, pale Douala International Airport Cameroon ndege ya KQ507 imepark pale kwa hanga uh, inafaa itoke actually inafaa kuwa ishaenda lakini sababu ya weather kidogo kukakuwa na mushkil wamewekwa pale for a whole hour sababu weather imeleta tafash hii ndege kabla ifike Douala ilikuwa imetoka Abidjan Ivory Coast ilikuwa inafaa ingie Douala i drop iokote wengine ikuje teke teke mpaka Kanairo City Jomo Kenyatta International Airport JKIA First leg kutoka Abidjan mpaka Douala no incident mambo ilikuwa safi kulikuwa na kidogo kidogo mshike mshike pande ya weather but ah, it's a new aircraft it's a brand new 737 Boeing inaweza ku handle ile weather ambayo walikuwa subjected to kutoka Abidjan mpaka Douala mm, walk in the park 
lakini immediately <coughs> sorry immediately wali land dwala whether ikaenda to the dogs hey noma bin noma sasa ile take off ikabidi imeshikiliwa kidogo wakaambiwa tulieni whether ikiwa saa sawa tutawaachilia mtoke pale kwenye controls kuna captain pale anaitwa Francis Wamwea Francis Wamwea kuna tajriba kuna experience ya E737 ya miaka takriban 16 years experience flying the 737 he knows the aircraft inside out pale katika kiti ya co-pilot kuna kijana mdogo sana rubani ambaye akona experience ya only 800 hours flying time na ni kijana mdogo wa miaka i think 21 anaitwa first officer Andrew um, Andrew Wanyoike Andrew Wanyoike na captain wake hapo bwana Wamwea kidogo pia wanaona eh hey, masaa vile zinakimbia tunahitaji kutoka at least watu wetu by saa 12 saa moja latest tukwe tushawaangusha wapi tushawaangusha Nairobi City pale ndani ya 737 kuna abiria na crew 118 nine among them Kenyans six crew three passengers so wamepiga pale kwenye runway kidogo kidogo wana wao imeisha captain wa moya akasema hey <coughs> nikiangalia weather radar naona hiyo weather si mbaya sana i think tunaweza maneuver kile tutafanya once we lift off sababu kwa heading yetu ndio hiyo weather inaenda ikiharibika let's let's take a right just a little bit go through the, the clouds twende tutokeleze huko mbele mali weather iko sawa tuendelee na safari tusiingie tu straight ndani hizo clouds sababu hapo ndio weather inasemekana imechacha zaidi so tuki climb turn right eh, ondokea hizo clouds kiasi enda zunguka huko mbele shika heading yako wezidi tuko sawa tuko sawa okay piga ripoti kwa air traffic control Duala International Airport ambia jamaa eh gave eh idha mbaya idha mbaya hiyo weather naona ni kama iko at least mimi naweza maneuver kweli 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 nishapanga kila kitu flight path yangu iko sawa nimeshaona mali weather imeharibikia kile nitafanya nikisha climb mimi nakula right kidogo niondokee mali weather ni ngori then i turn back to my heading na nielekee Nairobi okay no worries Right before KQ507 ikwe ready for departure Air Maroc ni ndege ya wa, wale watu wa Morocco wale walikuwa pia na haraka zaidi au wakapatiwa first priority eh, Royal Air Maroc wakaenda kwa runway wakashika i think hao wamepiga hesabu zao wakaona vector yao iko sawa hiyo wanaweza ngangana shoo Air Maroc ikaenda KQ507 wakapiga nini pale kwa, eh, kwa runway waka ngoja nini hiyo um, eh, permission ya ku take off so akiwa pale captain na mwanzake wana wanaongea mambo yao hapo ehe kumbuka heading na nini na nini sasawa awaiting uh, clearance take off take off clearance sorry then sisi tuelekee tuingie Nairobi saa moja bana hawa sasa tunafaa kwa tushawa tushawa sukuma pale air traffic control duala waka hit wale waseni aje wadau air maroc ishaenda Uh, I think now you can uh, line up for take off. So actually wacheni wafundishe kitu kidogo maybe wase wengi amjui. Ndege ibigi ki take off kuna vitu zinaitagwa vortex na kwa ga dangerous sana. Ni ni kama upepo zinazunguka hivi sababu ya hiyo thrust ya ndege from the engine. So ndege bigi kitoka inakuwa ga important to ipatie dakika chache iende kwanza ndio nyinyi m take off nyuma yake sababu inaachanga hiyo patches of very disturbed air na ukiingia hapo inaweza kufanya mbaya so air maroc imeenda it's a, it's a, it's a huge aircraft hiyo imeenda eh kwenye 537 hapa kq ameambiwa you are good to go fanya mambo yenu captain wa mwea first officer wanyoike wakaingia pale kwenye runway piga engines full throttle take off as wanna climb captain wa mwea anapatiana instructions pale anasema kumbuka hatutaenda na heading yetu vile iko tutakula right kwanza kidogo tuondokee mawingu then mbele ndio tutaenda tu shikeb nini twende sawa sawa haina mambo first officer wanyoike ana input eh, izo 
particulars the headings nini flight altitude tutachezea wapi 33000 feet sasawa ako busy ana input hiyo kitu as they are climbing ata sekunde 30 azikuisha wakaanza kupata alarm alarm ambayo ilianza ku sound kwa ndege at that particular time ilikuwa ya kitu inaitwa bank angle so bank angle wa down mmetoa vitabu muko na vitabu very good so bank angle wakati ndege ina paa kuna vitu hapa kwa wings ambazo zinaisaidia na lift so utaona wakati ndege ina paa inaongeza wing size hapa chini wing inakuwa pana kidogo so hizi vitu kwa ndege saa zingine huwa zina cause kitu fulani utapata wakati mnaenda ukiachilia controls ndege inaanza ku bank to a certain angle inamaanisha kuna wing moja inachukua more lift than the other so hiyo problem ikikam ndege ikianza ku bank to one, one side hivi kuna kuaga na angle ambayo ndege haifai kupita ikishapita 35 degrees ina sound alarm ya bank angle so ukiwa pale kwa cockpit utasikia mzee hapo ndani anasema bank angle bank angle bank angle shindo mbona wapatia ki watu wako nani ni zetu i think kila aircraft alarms zinafaa zirekodiwe na watu wa hiyo country ndio ikuwe more if ama eh yeah. hey, like iki bank oya kadhe oy wewe you know you guys are laughing but actually there's an accident that happened na the ntsb national transport safety board ya america wakasema the reason why this accident happened is because the alarm did not sound serious enough true story true story so by there i'm thinking if your plane is banking already to go at 35 degrees this is dangerous unaweza kosa ku recover alafu inakwambia bank angle bank angle yuhu bank angle <laughs> Hakuna inafaa kwa Wai Oya Ah Yo <laughs> Okay Okay <laughs> So of course ka- Captain Wamwea ako hapo oh okay oh no oh oh bank angle okay Rudisha nini control column eh, to the left ndio bank angle irudi sawa like correct it real fast he we so basically history of bank angle it's it's very normal it's just like you when you're driving uachilie controls uta notice most of the times kuna vile gari inaanza kuenda side moja ushajaribu kitu kayo eh ukiachilia wheels unaona ina inaanza it's very normal so hiyo kazi yake ni rahisi just shika tu control column rudisha like co- correct correct hiyo kitu vile inafaa number two, engage to autopilot autopilot inajua okay bank angle ah okay sawa i need to correct it inakufanyia inakufanyia kila kitu but akina wamwea ah, walikuwa tu engaged na na historia weather nini nini so ikagonga bank angle bank angle captain aka correct eh? na akaendelea na maisha kabisa okay eh, so input nini input nini ehe tuko sawa hapo tuko sawa okay ah sasa eh, weka engage autopilot engage auto what autopilot woi first officer wa nyoike alisikia hakusikia officer alikuwa very busy aki input heading he 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 hapa hizi ma eh longitudes zikienda mbaya sisi hao oh, yugoslavia he hey, hey. we captain uko ashamwambia engage autopilot hakusikia captain sababu ashapatiana orders engage autopilot siye ame relax anajua mambo iko mufti safari inaendelea mpaka wapi nairobi 7 o'clock asubuhi jomo kenyatta international airport control tower hello hey dwala Cheki, kuna ndege fulani ilitoka huko usiku 
ilikuwa inafaa kwa hiyo imeingia hapa 645 6, 6 15 can't cheat can die haijaingia ningekuwa nini like siwezi kupigia kama hiyo ndege imeingia hiyo ndege haijaingia na, na sijui tunajaribu kuwatafuta kwa reda nini ah okay so duala huko wana wanagundua okay hey yo kuna 507 ya KQ ilitoka hapa usiku inafaa kuwa imeingia Nairobi awaioni huko eburudi hapa kwa nini wanaitafuta hapo kwa reda ai ni 507 iko wapi ai wana relay information hapo eh hey, maze hata sisi pande yetu atuioni do you know 24 hours zinaisha hakuna mtu anajua ndege iko wapi concerns ai we hakuna mtu alisikia kitu nini nothing ah 48 hours done after 24 hours waliona he hapa kunaweza kuwa na ngori sukuma wase sukuma watu and then to around the airport huko mkiangalia nini inaweza kuwa ime happen rusha watu kwa mangrove huko duala huko kwa hizo fore nini nini 48 hours later the first team of search and rescue wanapata wreckage ya KQ 507 ndani ya mangrove ime submerge huko ndani ya matope like aki uwezi hata tell nini ndio nini hii kitu imeisha kabisa It's finished report ikarudishwa control tower ah duala eh tumeona wreckage na i swear hiyo wreckage iko na hiyo sign ya KQ kwa tail hawa ah, so wameanguka 3.5 miles from the airport do you know what that means that means these guys did not even fly for two minutes like wali take off too easy before hata mtu amalize sigara down eh hey, so ikakuwa a concern so kila country inafaa kuwa na transport safety authority yake ya Kenya inaitagua NTSA ya America ni NTSB National Transport and Safety Board ya Cameroon ya Cameroon duala ya Cameroon ni N ni existent hawana Sasa ikakuwa okay. Transport and safety boards from all over the world especially wale wase wenye wako involved na ndege wakam. Kenya ikasukuma NTSA huko. America wakasukuma NTSB sababu gani? The downed aircraft was a Boeing 737 manufactured in the United States so lazima wakue hapo. Canadians waganiwa deadly sana kusoma data. Deadly sana data ya ndege. Atari so wakajitokeza wakasema yo in case of anything we got you watu wakaingia kwa matope kutafuta two very vital components component number one ni kitu inaitwa FDR flight data recorder hiyo inakwambia kila kitu hiyo ndege ilifanya from take off baka kuanguka kama uliguza tu uh, control column kidogo ina record kwa hiyo data recorder kama uli lift off ukarudi nose down inaandika hapo kama uli bank to the left inaandika hapo kila kitu so hiyo ni very crucial number two, lazima watafute kitu inaitwa CVR cockpit voice recorder sasa hii tunasikiza wakati mnaendesha hii ndege mnaongea nini tunataka kujua ndio ndege ifike chini mlikuwa mnaongea mpira ama siasa we want to know So maze very quickly wakapata FDR flight data recorder Canadians wakaitwa oya gave mlisema mtasaidia hapa shikeni FDR and then muangalie nini ilifanyika in the meantime sababu inachukua like a week two weeks kuenda ku download hiyo data yote ukuje tu, tu, tu ikague twende tuki interview watu wenye walikuwa kwa hiyo airport at that particular day tujue conditions zilikuwaaje So wakaenda wakapata pilot ambaye ali take off right after KQ 507. Wakamuuliza yeye gave maze whether ilikuwa aje time. Jamaa kamsho whether ya okay haikuwa fit sana but haikuwa kitu wa tingori. Ah no, hiyo ai kila mtu ali manuva. In fact hata before KQ Air Maroc, Royal Air Maroc walitoka wakaenda fit sana. Like akukua na nini KQ wakatoka wakaclimb poa sana. Mimi nikawafuata nyuma na nikazidi. Eh hey, kila mtu ali hakuna msiata aliendelea na delays like after sisi to take off everyone else ali line up for take off na wakaenda 
Okay, so you weather iko mbaya sana na no, weather iko mbaya. Eh, okay. So nini iliangusha hii ndege after less than two minutes of flying? Kabla wajikune kichwa, Canada wakafanya mambo yao, wakatoka na results safi kutoka kwa FDR. Flight data recorder ikakuja wakafungua kila kitu pale wakaangalia okay movement zilikuwa zinakaa namna gani hapa wakaona ndege ili take off vizuri ndege ika hit eh, speed ya take off V1 pilot aka rotate ku rotate ni kusukuma hiyo kitu nyuma no sikainuka vizuri sana lift off na ikaenda vizuri lakini kuna kitu ilianza ku happen hapa bank angle al- alarm ili sound bank angle bank angle aha so pilot alifanya nini vile bank angle alarm ili sound ali correct ali ilikuwa ina turn right akai correct akai letter left ndege ka level vizuri but something strange happened after that immediately after pilot alirudisha vizuri kola mali inafai kue kukakuwa hakuna disturbance yoyote kwa hiyo kola hakuna disturbances kwa hizi ma nini radars hapa chini zina control wago huku chini kama pedals zero like hiyo ndege iliwachiliwa okay so what happened after you captain na na, na, na wanyoike first officer waachilie ndege after some time roughly a few seconds alarm number 2 ya bank angle ikalia aha what did the captain do flight data recorder inasema captain after ang- yo bank angle ilie tena ali correct but badala ya ku correct akapeleka yo bank angle sasa vibaya zaidi ilikuwa imesema tumefika 35 degrees una need ku correct bank angle bank angle badala ya pilot ku leta 25 15 akaipeleka 45 So ni nini why kwa nini mbona inaenda hivyo so wakaangalia pilot aliisukuma hivyo aka make the situation worse akajaribu ku correct ilikuwa shida ndege iko confused aka ileta right tena aka irudisha left tena ni kama hajui hajui ni wapi anataka hii kitu ikue kuna tu some sense of panic na the way this control column is moving huni mtu alikuwa ameingiza baridi hayuko sure So kidogo kidogo ndege ikakuwa iko upside down spiral 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 paka ndani ya swamp But why Kwa nini kwa nini huyu captain alifanya hiyo mbona mbona make it worse Like si so, so correct tu like correct it rudi tu saa mbona mbona alienda the other way hivyo ikakuwa he maze hapa maze kitu itatusaidia ni ile component ya pili CVR cockpit voice recorder Mungu ni mwema kwa hiyo matope hapo hapo cockpit voice recorder ikapatikana teke teke ingia osha nini download hiyo tape haraka haraka we wekelea kitu kwa computer tusikie conversations hapa ndani ziko namna gani he wana discover captain kwa hiyo harakati tu wakati wana take off at some point after the first bank angle hapa katikati between the first one and the second one aliambia first officer oya engage autopilot but when the investigators go back to the flight data recorder kuangalia was this autopilot engaged i go engaged so what had happened was when captain wamwea ali shout your command engage autopilot wanyoike akakosa ku engage captain wa francis aliachilia kila kitu in his mind he knew autopilot iko engaged so akaachilia kila kitu akangojea ndege ifanye mambo yake sababu hiyo ndege it was equipped ilikuwa inajua vile kufanya ilikuwa inajua okay at this particular point mimi ndio i'm in charge let me handle it but akukuwa na autopilot so basically everyone was a passenger kwa hiyo ndege mpaka ndege yenyewe ilikuwa hivi inashindwa okay tunaenda aje so kitu wako wanajua ni wakati wameachilia kila kitu ile ndege 
ilianza tena kufanya nini kubank to the right si mnakumbuka hiyo fenomena ya gari ukiachilia gari utapata kuna area moja side moja huaga inaenda sana na most of the time inakuaga kwa hujafanya alignment fit inaenda side moja so this plane kept bam, bam, banking to the right so after captain wanyoike ali correct the other time the first time si alipeleka left akaachana nayo so wakati ililia bank angle tena ilikuwa imeanza kurudi right yeye yeah, akafikiria oh maybe vile nilipeleka left ilianza kwenda left so let her right hajui in a bank to the right so basically kile alifanya ni aliongeza tu hiyo bank angle like tutoke sasa 45 20 60 wewe iko nini sisi ni acrobats <laughs> we ni noma niko sure wase wengi wanashangaa but how come wewe sasa hii nikikam kwa kiti yako Walter ni ku tilt to the right si utafeel utafeel ume tilt inakuwa gaivo like sasa hii nikakam ni kushike tu place and i tilt you slightly to the right body yako utafeel tu ai ah ah hapa nimeti <laughs> nimetilt mbaya <laughs> hii a a we rudisha wewe <laughs> unaharibu he hey, hey. toeni kitabu na karatasi let me introduce you to a very strange phenomenon inaitwa special disorientation special from the word space space duala at this particular time ilikuwa usiku wa manane mvua imetandika kutandika clouds zimeshikana huko jua kuna moonlight, uh, moonlight zero these people lacked something called ground reference so most of the time the thing that makes you know that you are banking at an angle ni ground reference utacheki ai a a wase wenye wako mbele yangu naanza kuwaona fani we nimebank nimebank the brain is such a powerful organ Once you take that ground reference away your body cannot tell whether it's banking. So these people had not ground um nimeita ground nini? Reference. Ju dirisha hapa ni giza. Any other time ingekuwa mchana wangekuwa wanaona. Ju unaweza wana chini uone a a nimekafani. But ni giza it's dark. Hawajui so as the plane is tilting awana copy wana tilt au wanafikiria wako sawa sana in fact kumbe wing moja iko huko wing nyingine iko huko chini so wakati bank angle ililia mara ya pili wanyoike akafikiria oh ile time nilipeleka left maybe ilienda sana so na need kuirudisha oh 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 wrong move wap spiral chini so now the investigators were gonna reason ya kwa nini kq507 iligonga chini but bado kuna kitu hawaelewi apana watu wawili watu wawili hapana lazima kuna tu mtu mmoja ange notice ah, ah kuna kitu iko off hapa like mbona watu wawili walishindwa maze ku recover hii kitu waka play back cockpit voice recorder from the previous leg safari ya kutoka abijan ivory coast to duala cameroon so nakumbuka hii ndege iko na ilikuwa inapiga hizo leg mbili eh Inatoka Abidjan inakuja Douala inafanya mambo yake hapo inatoka Douala inakuja Nairobi. So wakachukua tape hiyo cockpit, cockpit voice recorder wakasikiza. Hiyo safari ya kutoka Abidjan mpaka Douala. Hawa se walikuwa wanaongea nini? Nataka tu kujua ni juu hata relationship yao pale kwa cockpit iko aje nini nini. And they discover a problem with very very many captains which in fact has led to more than 10 crashes captains zamani sahi sikuizi kuna training deadly hakuna hiyo nonsense captains zamani walikuwa wana lead ki military like ilikuwa ni i stamp authority mean your captain uliza morgan <laughs> no funny in <guest> studio <laughs> Eh pesa ya Captain Morgan ningeikula vizuri leo. What a plug. So mindio captain 
So whatever nasema goes. Hakuna cha oh oh una wewe uko na 800 flying hours mimi niko na 16 years experience unaniambia nini? You shut up. So walipata relationship ya captain wa Mwea na first officer wa Nyoike it was pretty much like that. The same same story was I pata na some Korean Korean airlines. Captain alingia na first officer anaona oya gadhe pengine uoni vizuri batini mountain hapa mbele lakini sababu first captain akisema amesema imagine first officer alishikilia tu seat belt akangoja kuingia kwa mountain sababu first of nani captain amesema wadi yake ni final Shiu! mpaka kwa, kwa mountains so NTSB walikuwa wame discover kuna hizi vitu sana especially countries zenye wazae wanatetiwa ngoa na hizo ma Korea, Japan, China walikuwa gana hiyo kitu sana. So apparently our dear captain alikuwa gai hivyo pia alikuwa very overbearing at some point in fact walicheza some of the voice notes. Eh hey, hizo nitaziita voice notes kweli. <laughs> hey wazee ni me reduce hiyo ndege yake. Ah bana hiyo tusiite voice notes. <laughs> Wacha tuite tu voice recording. <laughs> Hey voice note. <laughs> hey voice note ni reduce hiyo ndege jo. Hey. Hey captain unaniongeleshaje? Buda niko airplane mode. <laughs> so wakisikiza voice recordings from the last leg. Wakasikia words azikuwa bamba. Don't be silly. Eh hey, like isn't it to kwa conversation maze use your head kuna vile ukiongelesha maze msemu napiga naye kazi ah ana switch off which the investigators think is what happened during take off from Douala International Airport o o first officer alikuwa amefika ile point ya you know what tufike tu home tulandi kitu umse atoke hapa Uh, hopefully next flight sitakuwa naenda kwa na msemo mwingine so after conversations zao the boy akwa anasema vitu mob sana unajua unaweza sikiza tu jo ni msee ako, ako under some bit of stress eh ntsa waka shine na hiyo kitu unajua eh, sorry ntsb hawatakangi kitu yote inafanya ndege yao ikae mbaya so wakiona maze makosa ni pilot error eh <laughs> unatandikwa and dio isi wa letengo reju eh, airline i mean airplane manufacturer akipatikana ende wako kwa ngori it becomes a very expensive affair for them so report ikatolewa ikasemekana maze uh, pilot error ilisaidia hapo sana sana i mean ili changia sana sana hiyo ndege kwenda chini uh, boeing wakajitolea wakasema sababu ya makosa kama hii kuna additions kiasi tutaongeza hiyo bank angle ikifika level flani whether a autopilot is on or not itakuwa ina correct yenyewe which i think is a good thing like usitegeme mtu wacha ikifika place tu ni risky whether there is someone at the controls or not correct it so ndege na correct automatically they discover hii kunyamaza ya first officer ili wa cost sababu first officer actually on realizing that hakuwa meka autopilot alifinya very fast Bap, autopilot but the captain was impatient sababu tayari ikituishaenda haywire hey hey we hey, nini pull up pull up hey hey bank angle so anajaribu kungangananganana nayo first officer ashagonga autopilot sasa autopilot nayo vile imeundwa nikishai engage lakini mtu pale kwa control column afanye vitu ina override autopilot yangu so inazima sikuna mtu kwa controls so meaning kazi yangu had the captain been a bit patient hiyo autopilot inge correct na inge recover hiyo aircraft na ingeenda fit sana akungekuwa na story but yeah even do ilienda 118 people lost their lives that day among them nine kenyans six crew three passengers na kulikuwa na other people from other nationalities it was such a tear jerking moment for kenyans tulikuwa tume experience uh, air crash lakini sidhani ilikuwa kwa hiyo magnitude hiyo hiyo abijan mali ndege ilikuwa imetoka couple of years before 
another KQ aircraft iliingia kwa ocean huko but sidan ilikuwa imebeba hawa sasa wote hii ilikuwa na capacity kiasi 118 people mali wako mazemi they rest in peace tunawakumbuka 2007 to 2022 is how many years on 15 15 years on yeah na hapo ndio nakamilishia story in case ulikuwa unawanda kama KQ ishaikuwa na miss up now you know actually ziko kadha kuna ya Bijan kuna ya Duala na kuna one more ili happen kisumu lakini hiyo ilikuwa noma eh, ilienda ku land sijui hii landing gear ni kama iku deploy so ikaanguka na tumbo kwa runway but waka, they live to tell the tale bas na hapo ndio nafungia story yangu ya tatu wadao kama imekubamba kuja na mbogi ashuhudie aone asikie fiti na kama kama, kama dao ukisikia mfuko inawasha cheza kama wewe umati fry tunashukuru sana jojo ya ku hang on na sisi tuonane baadaye kwa the final story of the day maze adios muchachos peace nice one